Tamara Nagiyeva, a resident of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, held a press conference at Idaho's Press Center to speak about the unlawful actions of employees of shadow regional law enforcement agencies. According to her, upon her family's return from Baku to their house in Chachibaran village, they saw that part of their garden was occupied, trees were cut, and the fence of the garden yard was taken down. Tamara Nagiyeva accused her brother-in-law of trying to side her land with the help of the police. Seeing that their lands were occupied, the Nagiyeva family appealed to the police. However, although the police promised to solve the conflict in favor of the family, they never did. On the contrary, the opposite side, Nagiyeva's brother-in-law went to court and won. Nagiyeva filed an appeal against the decision. This time, their appeal was granted. However, the police not only refused to fulfill the court decision, but also began to open the prayer of the family. According to Tamara Nagiyeva, she, together with her sister, were forced to go to Shadow Regional Police Station where all their documents were taken from them. They were held in the basement for two days and were insulted and humiliated. The police told them that they will only release them when they sign a document confirming their withdrawal from part of the area. Under pressure, Nagiva was forced to sign the document. She was taken to notary office at night and necessary documents were compiled. When released, she was told to come to the police station next day and sign the documents. However, she decided to not sign the documents and she and her sister hid themselves in their relative's house from May to September. Only after her son, Razi Nagia, was received by the Minister of Internal Affairs, Ramil Subov, where Nagia's documents returned back to her and she was able to come to Baku. There is hardly any address that we didn't visit or Apple. Why should I be humiliated and persecuted by someone? The police should defend my rights, not insult me. If I cannot live in my own country, then I want an asylum from another country. I demand the protection of my rights and return of my land, said Nagyeva.